All right, baby. Episode right. 18, the Hurt Business Podcast. <clears throat> JB and CP. It's been, uh, been a long week. Very interesting. You know what I'm saying? Um, big fight this weekend. Javante Tank Davis versus Leo Santa Cruz. Uh, this fight deserves a thorough breakdown, as well as uh, the Chisora and Usyk fight. Big heavyweight. Uh, big Test for Usyk, see where he stands as far as the heavyweight uh, uh, landscape is concerned. Is he a contender or a pretender? We will find out. Also, uh, Anderson Silva, you the MMA guy. What's going on in MMA this week? Anderson Silva and Uriah Hall, man. They getting into it, man. <clears throat> fight night. Okay. Um, it's going to be a pretty good That's- fight, man. Uriah Hall. No, I'm thinking about Uriah Faber, the, the yeah. California kid. <clears throat> okay, mm-hmm. yeah, I remember him. I remember him. But this is Uriah Hall. Mm-hmm. Me, tell me a little, little what, what? Tell me a little something about him. Um, Uriah Hall, man, he was on the uh, Ultimate Fighter with. Um, let me see, what was his name? I forgot. I forgot. He he had a <clears throat> he had a, one of those big knockouts on. Uh, he was one of the ones that was touted as being. The uh, you know the the standout that season. He um, his he's sixteen and nine. Okay. He he never could really get together. He he can't really put it together in the UFC for some reason. He done went on the slide for a little while. Um, he had a he had some ups and downs. He's thirty six years old. Uh, he normally fight in a middleweight division or whatever. But so how how old is Anderson Silva now? Oh shit, man! Anderson Silva got to be at least. 40, maybe, uh, he's like 45. He 45. I was going to say. Yeah. But, he, but, so, but, so, but this guy, he's fighting his uh, middle of the road, so Anderson can get a win. Yeah, he could. He could get a win. He was on, um, he was on the season when John Jones and Chell Sonnen was the coaches. Okay. Yeah, and, uh. Long story short, he really can't put it together in the UFC. He, he he wins some, he loses some. I really don't know how he landed this fight with Anderson Silva. Maybe they thought that, you know, he good do enough. You he, think do you, you think this might be Anderson's last fight? Oh, it is. It is. They already marketing it that that's what way. I'm saying. So maybe, yeah. maybe that's why he got the call. Maybe they think he's a guy that Anderson can beat. He can. I mean, because the thing about Uriah Hall is, man, he one of them guys he can beat. He he can win on any given night, and he can lose on any given night. And I understand that's a cliche to say in boxing or in or MMA, but that's really how it go. I mean, for some, he lose against the guys he's supposed to beat, and he get beat by the guys he's supposed to. You know, you know, it's just it's crazy. It's, yeah. it's crazy. You know what I'm saying? I feel you. Um. So, man, hopefully, Andy <clears throat> Silver can. Can can go out on a high note, get his victory, and ride off into the sunset. One of the greats, all time greats of MMA, uh, former pound for pound number one mm-hmm. in the sport. You know what I'm saying? The, the, the title currently being disputed mm. between John Jones and Israel Adesanya. They are having a war of words, uh, you know, over social media. Mm-hmm. Uh, and a lot of fans think that that could be a potential fight. Me personally, I don't think they'll ever step in the ring. I think it's almost like just they will, uh, just competition. Oh, you think they will? Yeah, they will. Oh, yeah, they will. Oh, yeah, they will. Well, it's, it's, it's just right a- now. Yeah, right now they beefing about who's number one in the sport. You know what I'm saying? Well, also too, and it all started. I want you to give me your take. On it. it all started. It all started with the Khabib thing. Right, it all. Started. Look, yeah, you're fucking right. Okay, Khabib had a big victory. Oh yeah, went out, laid his glove, laid his gloves in the middle of the match, said he's done. It. So they he's twenty, done. what, twenty eight or twenty nine and oh Yep, twenty nine and oh mm-hmm. he, he he done with the game. People calling him the best ever. To ever do it. The best to ever do it. The goat. The best to ever do it. John Jones took exception to that. Yeah, he did. He did. Take exception to that. Because and John Jones what? arguably, Go ahead. John Jones arguably is the, the greatest mixed martial artist we've ever seen. That's really the truth. 
and 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 he's undefeated. That, honestly, it, well, you're right about that. But mm-hmm. he's also popped. He's he's failed several drug tests. He failed several drug tests for for actual he, illegal he's also substances. Also failed one. He's failed one for performance enhancers. Mm, that can be disputed. He fa- he failed it. He failed it, but he didn't. But he he said that he didn't know what he was putting in his body at the time through supplements. Yeah. That's what I would say. Well, well, let's say this. Let's say this, right? Mm-hmm. With all of the stuff that goes on with John Jones, you people can you can clamber on to anything or whatever. You really don't know if he was taking it early on in his career. You really don't know if he was taking it whenever he started taking it or if he took it his whole career. You just don't know. But you do know with Khabib, right. he's been clean his whole career. He haven't had... I'm not even okay. talking about the out of the octagon shit. I'm just talking about the inside. He never failed the drug test. He beat everybody they put in front of him. He was undisputed. Nobody challenged him. But you can also say the same shit with John Jones, but just everything attached to John Jones is crazy. You know what I'm saying? The failed drug test, the missing the sport, the the long hiatuses that he go through, uh, the suspensions, the this, the that, and the third. But when it all when it's all said and done, he still come back and be the most dominant force you've ever seen in the UFC. And he's only popped one time. And if you change that, if you change. But let's he say, popped. but if but let's say, but if he if he didn't pop any other time, that means he wasn't using it, right? Nah, that's not. You what just never know. Barry Bonds never. Barry Bonds has never failed a drug test. But that's the issue in his life. But that's the issue in his bro, life. Right? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. But this is the thing. No, this is what I'm saying. But Major League Baseball still holds that against him. He's still not in the Hall of Fame mm-hmm. because of the testimony of someone saying he took it. True. True. Okay. We have a drug test on John Jones. So are you saying, in your opinion, John Jones is the best to ever do it? Oh, yeah. Of co- of hands down. Hands down. I'm talking about, you can I'ma put him. Say, I'm going to say, go ahead. That motherfucker's the Michael Jordan of uh, uh, MMA, bro. All right. But not I'm in terms saying. of marketing. No, hold up, hold up. But not in terms of marketing. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about in terms of dominance. I'm just, I'm asking <clears> your opinion <throat> on the best mixed martial artist. We're not talking about every all the other stuff. Yeah. John right. Jones, bro. John Jones, right. man. That motherfucker is the greatest of all times. Because you can take him and you can put him in any era, any era, and he'll be just as dominant as he was today in I the think, 2000s. I, I think that he should pay the price for his transgressions. Being a mixed martial artist is about is a lifestyle. True, I get you too. And that's he and failed, that's he failed at it, and he let that leak over into his. See, it's one thing if you're doing drugs on your own time and you never come in, and when it's time to fight, you clean up, boom, boom, mm-hmm. boom, you don't get caught. He's testing positive for cocaine. He's probably doing cocaine before he fights. It's clearly something. That is 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 intertwined with his mixed martial arts career. It taints it, in my opinion. Right now, I would say Khabib is the greatest to do it, and I'm thinking Israel Adesanya will soon surpass him. If he, I, I believe that. I, I believe that. But but the thing is, is um, <clears throat> first of all, is he going to pass him just by going up to the light heavyweight division, beating anybody for a strap there and getting that belt? And he said he would, he wouldn't mind going to heavyweight. And he's a big guy. You know, Izzy is like 6'3, 6 4. So I mean he can go up there and do damage period. So so he's got the frame to do some uh, oh, yeah. historical thing. Oh uh, yeah. So um that's what that's what I see. Right now, I'd say Khabib is the best. John Jones is next in line, and you got Israel to sign. Yeah. Now if John Jones wants to in my eyes, it's just me now, maybe you know, like you say, you already got him number one, but if he can stomp, so to speak, on Israel Adesanya's uh ambitions and put an L on his record, then he could catapult, then catapult could be and keep Adesanya at bay. And he could be number one. I agree with that. Yeah. I agree with that. I agree with that. I, I just think I just think everybody, um, the failed drug test is what kill his what kill his argument. That's the truth. It kills, it, it, it kills, it kills his argument. Hey, hey, what what the what 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 the girl what the chick say? 
It's the failed drug test for me. Yeah, it is, man. And that's and what's so crazy. And that's that's everybody argument, man. So I mean, I I, I believe I see it on both sides, bro. But I, I would still mm-hmm. say in, in terms of talent, in terms of frame, in terms of who he beat, in terms of the resume, every fucking thing, bro. If he did not have that drug test, that failed drug test on his record, I don't care about the illegal drugs. I don't care about none of that shit. If he didn't have that done, a hall of a instant hall of famer. I, 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 won't, I won't argue. Yeah, but that shit right there. And then hey, to be real, that's why people. Look. That's why people put Daniel Cormier ahead of him too. And he beat Cormier no, twice. I can't put. I can't put. I can't put Crybaby ahead of me. But people. No but the reason no why. Be here. But the reason Fuck why. People, reasons. But the guy got his ass smoked yeah. twice. But the reason why people do it is, is because he won titles. He won titles in different organizations at heavyweight and light heavyweight. Except he he fought in the UFC yeah. at light heavyweight, but he didn't fight in Bruh. which one call it in light heavyweight. If I fight you twice and kick your ass, I don't care where you fought at. True. But, but a lot of people that call him the he, they call him the goat too, bro. I don't believe that shit. They called it the goat. Yeah, they call him the goat, man. They call him the goat. You be surprised. Drug t- Drug test them. Yeah, you'd be surprised, man. Drug test those guys. Now, you know who else I will put it? Hey, we we shouldn't be talking about him. We buried him on the show after he retired. You know who else I will put in that argument, though? You right. We buried Cormier. Who? Uh, GSP. GSP got a a pass. He's not better than Anderson Silva. Mm, not gonna say that. I think he is. He's not in the argument. He was. He was just Anderson as dominant. Silver. He was just as dominant though. Anderson Silva's behind. But look, Anderson Silva's behind Adesanya. I got. I got. I got Khabib. I got Jones. I got Adesanya. I got Silva. Okay, but check he this got- out, right? Check this out, right? The reason why I said that John Jones and Adesanya is gonna fight because the UFC is not going to pass up another super fight like they did against GSP and Silva all those years. It was supposed to be Silva and GSP in the first super fight in the UFC early on in the game. But but do you, you they going to fight they, again? You know why they passed it up? No, they passed it up cuz they didn't want Silva to kick GSP's ass. Well, no, not it wasn't just that. It wasn't just that. It was Dana White was stuck on stupid. He was more or less he was always, his stance was always, yeah, I don't want, I don't really promote fighters to go from one weight class to another weight class, even when they're a champion at one weight class. They didn't start doing that shit until Conor went up to 155 and won the title. No, no, no fighter, no UFC fighter ever even had the opportunity to, if they was the champion in one weight class to move up with the title and go fight for another title or fight catchways. They wasn't doing all that catchway shit like they do now. So to make fights, but what I'm saying is, so they didn't ever make they never made the fight. What's the weight in middleweight? They never wanted them to fight at a catch weight. And then GSP was what he wouldn't release his belt to move up to fight Anderson. And at that time, Anderson wouldn't relinquish his belt to go down to fight GSP. That's why I say now UFC is more of a business in the business of making blockbuster fights. So that's why I say that fight between Jones and Adesanya is more realistic than what people think. You know what I'm saying? Even with even with John Jones moving to heavyweight, bro, that fight is still on the fucking table. You know what I'm saying? But I agree with you though. I agree with you with your list. But I would take I would take Addison and move him above Adesanya until Adesanya, you know, do a little bit more. But Adesanya, he's showing up, bro. He's showing up, showing out. He's on the right track. So it just depends. It just depends on who, who they put in front of him and what, what happens. But the UFC has changed, though, so much over the years, bro. So MMA as a whole, man, the landscape is, is changed so much now. You got you got a lot of different, you got a lot of different opportunities now. So it's different. Hey, well, look, moving on from the MMA, man, that was, that, that was I, I enjoyed that conversation a lot, man. Hey, and if you're listening, um, don't forget to subscribe and, uh, like the YouTube video, Facebook. Follow us on Facebook at thelockerroom.com. Also, our YouTube name is now The Hurt Business Podcast. Okay? The Hurt Business Podcast. Make sure I'm giving you that right. Make sure it's not just The Hurt Business.
Hold on, JB. This right. is real time right now. Real time, real Coming time, huh? Yeah, what we got right. real, real time, real time. The Hurt Business Podcast is the YouTube name right now. Okay. Hey, if you already subscribed to the Locker Room on YouTube, you still subscribe. We just changed the name, baby. You know, let's make it more streamlined for you. No confusion. No, 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 uh, no cut, baby. Also, uh, we'll be coming to you again. Apple Podcasts and whatever you get your platform, you get your podcast on. Yep. Me and JB, man, we've been, uh, hey, we, we got real lives over here. You know what I'm saying? And um, right now, this is this is a hobby for us. We're trying to make it a profession. You know what I'm saying? So we, we have other things that may come into play, but we try to come to you guys at least once a week, especially yep. on big fight weeks. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, um, hey, bear with us. You know, we on a money-making mission. You feel me? In mm-hmm. our life, everyday lives, mm-hmm. everyday struggle. And uh, we do what we can to get to you guys, man. We really enjoy this. You know what I'm saying? JB is my man, a hundred grand. All day. Been down quite a while. You feel me? Quite mm-hmm. a while. And uh, hey, man, we just really sitting back and, um, and, and kicking shit, man. Like, like, like two partners do. Um, and speaking of which, bro, another fight coming up. Jasora Usa. Oh yeah. And uh oh yeah. Hey, if you remember, like early on, we called this, we said this would be a good fight for Usyk if they could get made. Yeah, this would be a great litmus test, man. How you feeling? Oh man. Um I got Jasora losing in I think he's gonna get stopped maybe the eighth round. I, I give him I give him eight rounds. Um I just think Usyk, he on the ride, bro. I think he I think the guy just, he on a tear. You know what I'm saying? Um, a lot of people saying that Alexander, he just, hey. he too small to pay heavyweight, bro. But I don't I, I don't think so, bro. Look, I'm going to tell you something, man. That too small crap. Skills pay the bills. And the words of Floyd Mayweather Jr. Also, Alexander Usyk, man. I think he's going to really make his presence felt. Um, Derek Tussor, he came in this fight. They think this is the heaviest he's been Mm-hmm. In his career, and I think it's going. That, that I don't think it's to his advantage. I think it kind of shows what kind of what kind of shape he's in for this fight. I don't think he's well prepared, and uh, this is kind of quick. Like, didn't he? I don't know, man. I don't think he's ready. I think he's a showman, though. I think he's going to get dominated. I think he's going to get dominated, man. I just mean, don't. I don't like what I see. I don't like sloppy. Like it's one thing to be big, man, but come on, I, I don't like. Uh, and then you know he like came in on pounds, but yeah, and then you know he came in there looking like a a, a war boy from a <laughs> from Mad Max, yeah, you know, at the weigh in and shit. I mean, I, I just man, that you boy know, look like a, a showman. that boy look like a powdered donut. Yeah, he a showman, man. But I just feel like Usyk just Usyk just gonna tag into him, bro. I think hey, Usyk gonna you, beat his you, ass. You can, you can show you, you you can make all the show you want, man. Usyk gonna come in and knock his ass out and get the dough. That's what I say, bro. And I think after that, you know, then AJ gonna have to have to make a decision, you know, because you know, fighting who he fighting, AJ fighting, poo, 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 He fighting Pulif in December, yeah. and I think it's December twelfth, if I'm not mistaken. But uh. He's gonna have to make a decision on what he's gonna do. Either he's gonna get that strap, he's gonna keep that strap and defend it against Usyk. No, you know he's gonna, oh, he gonna, he gonna, oh, he he gonna, gonna do that. that. That gives him leverage. He's not gonna wanna drop any of the belts. Okay? That's what I said. He's gonna keep those in order. Now he's been known, that's what he's been known to do. Mm-hmm. He, and he's been criticized for handling his mandatories, but that's what you gotta do when you hold multiple belts if you wanna keep them and keep that leverage. So, I mean, I wouldn't mind. I, I definitely wouldn't mind seeing uh, Usyk and Fury fight if that could be made sometime at the beginning of next year. Also, too, if uh, you don't, nah, if, you you would. If we don't catch, if we don't see an AJ see, fight, you, you that's what I'm about to say. You would see a you would see Anthony Joshua and Fury fight before you see uh, Fury and Usyk fight. Well, you no, no, no. I'm saying um, that's what I'm saying. Like I, I don't know because nobody really know what a, nobody know what. Fury is gonna do at the end of the year. 
we know he's not fighting. We know he's not fighting Wilder. But what direction can he yeah, go? You know that. What direction can he go? He would go. He would go to AJ. That's the biggest fight that can be made. That's really a bigger fight than Wilder. It is. It, it, but I'm saying though, if they can't really come to terms and really make that fight, I would accept a Usyk and Fury fight. All they're they gonna, they gonna, they gonna, they gonna come to terms, bro. You talking about Eddie Hearn? He's gonna but get I'm, it done. Him and Bob Arum, they gonna the do crowds. The they crowd's not gonna be there. The crowd's not gonna be there, and that gate is not gonna be there for the, that type of fight, though. The crowds are coming back. We talking about next year, man. I'm telling you right now. When we got a time, crowd, we got a crowd Saturday night. Okay, and um, probably Devontae Davis and Leo Santa Cruz. We are gonna have a crowd in 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 um. Well, Spence fighting Garcia. He fighting back Dallas. at Texas Stadium. Yeah, Dallas. he fighting Dallas. We're going to have a crowd. The Texas wide open, baby. Man. Red State. I Don't think it's going to close. About that. Nah, but I think, I I think it's going to close it. Nah. Election. Boy, they're not going to close before Tuesday? Them Are numbers. Crazy? Well, no, 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 no. No, no. I'm saying them numbers is getting them numbers is getting outrageous right about now, man. Well, Saturday is going to be some, some, some butts in the seats, buddy. Yeah. They sold tickets and pods. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? So hey, they did what? They sold tickets and pies. Yeah, like you gotta buy so many at one time. Everybody oh, in your only your crew can sit in your area. You know what I'm saying? Oh snap! I ain't know that. But anyway, I ain't know that. Yeah. But I tell you what, though, the thing is, is I want to see. Like I said, man, the landscape is gonna be different. This Corona shit ain't going on well. Winter time coming, flu season about to intersect with it. Numbers going up, so I think. When it come down to it, I don't think it's going to be a crowd. You saying it's going to be a crowd, I doubt it. But we'll see how that go. But I do believe that. I'm saying. So So you think, what I'm saying is, you think it's not going to be a crowd in San Antonio tomorrow? No, no. They're going to be a crowd in San Antonio. It might be oh. a crowd in oh, okay. Dallas. It might not be in front of fans in Dallas, I'm sure. Because it's getting kind of rough out here, bro. It's getting rough out here, man. You, 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 I'll tell you what. If Trump wins, it's gonna be a cry. Yeah, well, yeah, well, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I think I thought about that shit. But if he don't, <laughs> but if he don't, <laughs> if he don't, Biden might shut this motherfucker down. You know. Yeah, you know, I'm thinking. Right? I'm thinking it's happening. It's gonna happen. Yeah. I know one thing though. But I know one thing though. It's still gonna affect the sport of boxing and MMA sports as a whole to be honest with you so we just got to kind of wait and see how it play but i think gates i think live gates i think a lot of things like that and um it's gonna affect certain fights being made and i think aj and aj and fury if a crowd can't be made and a gate cannot be generated i think they might not they might wait until they can pull it off so that's why i say i would take a usik and fury no crowd on pay-per-view I will take that fight. Yeah, I mean, I, I would take, take that. I, mean, I would. I, I, I've seen, I've seen worse. That's what I'm saying. You know, I take AJ and Usyk, no crowd on pay per view, too. You know what I'm saying? I take that too. So, you know, going back to Chisora and Usyk, I think Chisora kind of bit off a little bit more than we did too. I think he underestimated him. I know he said he respect him. I know he said that he got skills. I know he said that he like him and stuff like that. But I still think that he thinking, you know, I'm going to come in there big. I'm going to come in there and be the bigger man. And he think he's going to be bigger than Usyk. And I think Usyk going to put them hands on him. And that's the wrap. But going into... Man, you same, know who I think of whenever I hear Chisora's name? I think of Dylan White. They me like too. To put me in the same but they way. fought. They fought, though. They fought a couple of times. Um, and I think yeah. I think uh, Dylan White knocked his ass out or some shit, huh? Uh, yeah, so you know what I'm saying. He's, he's, yeah, so Sora is is about to get smoked. Yeah, oh yeah, he's his turkey. But they about to smoke his ass. Man, look, Usyk about burn to smoke his biscuits. Oh yeah, Usyk about to smoke his fucking turkey. So you already know. Now let's go ahead and let's talk about this tank, the elephant in the room, bro. This tank in man, ain't no cruise elephant. fight. No, 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 no. It is the elephant in the room, man. Because out out of all these fights that's happening, bro. You know, the storyline with Anderson Silva, I mean, this is last fight. The storyline with Usyk and, mm-hmm. and Chisora is, is can Usyk, how can he fare against a somewhat elite, somewhat ranked, someone, somewhat competitive heavyweight coming from cruiserweight? But the storyline of the weekend is 
is Tank. Can Tank star power translate into being a pay-per-view star? And it's Leo Santa Cruz, the type of fighter to bring it out of. Now we talked last week about- To bring, to bring what out of it? To bring the performance of a lifetime, to oh. get people interested. Cause see, see the thing is, is man, even though we in the, even though we in the social media era and we in a, we in a social media, social media age, right? Where everything is so accessible, we accessible to all of the people that we give a fuck about. That shit don't necessarily translate into dollars and cents. And being, and in boxing terms, being a pay per view star, right? Now we know that Tank is a likable guy. We know Tank is a, you know, females love him. You know, dudes like him. You did, but with all that being said, bro, he still haven't crossed over to where people are willing to accept that he is the next one up. You did, and I'm talking about from a performance standpoint, because Gamboa, the Gamboa performance, everybody shitted on him, saying, "Oh, he got him out of there," but he got him out of there in the twelfth round. He Hold struggled up. with the old fighter. What this is that? The third. No, no, that that, that was the storyline. That was the storyline. Uh, no, wait, wait, wait. That's the storyline from boxing uh, diehards, people who watch boxing all the time. Yeah, yeah. The storyline from casuals who just like a good fight was man that she was exciting oh yeah well, yeah that, that, that? that too it's a that lot too. of listen that too. davis has, has a crowd pleaser style he's he do on pay, he's on he pay-per-view do. tomorrow he's against leo santa cruz it's gonna be some action it's not gonna last that long it's gonna last what five but this, rounds tank davis so. is gonna get him out of there the guy's too small mm-hmm. he's skilled but small I got Tank Davis by KO. Okay. This is what I'm saying, right? Yeah. With this one fight being on pay-per-view. Right. Okay. I know he have a crowd-pleasing style, but is he the fighter that, is he one of the fighters that you want to pay to see every time he fight, no matter who he fight? No, you you don't want- That's my point. Let me tell you something. There's nobody that I want to see pay to watch on TV, no matter who they're fighting. Not even Canelo Alvarez. Yeah, I like Canelo, He has though. to be fighting. Yeah. But he has to be fighting somebody. Like, you know what I'm saying? Well, I'm not going to pay. When Canelo, like, they had to put Canelo James Kirkland on HBO because nobody's going to pay to watch Canelo beat the fuck up a James Kirkland. Like, true. there's nobody that you're going to just pay every time to watch the Floyd, fight. like they did it with Floyd. Started, no, when no, when the, he started being on pay per view, everybody he fought was a champion. True, true. I'm just saying though, bro. Like yeah, he wasn't, but he he wasn't fighting like run of the mill guys. So you can't say I think you, you can't go by it. But I think I think if if Tank don't move up to 140, I know I'm rushing them to 140. But if he don't move up to 140, where all of the names at to be able to stay and sustain on pay per view. Whoa, no. Do you not see all that? They ain't got too much at they ain't got too much at 135, man. They got you got what you got Stevenson down at 126, 130, something like that. Right, right now. Right now he's at 130. No right at 130. No, but I'm saying like he he would have to go to this is what I'm saying. This guy could really be a true pound for pound. He's he's he had the 130 and 135 pound title in whatever fucking mm-hmm. three letter organization he's got in. Mm-hmm. And so he would have the ability to fight the 130 pound fighters, whoever's hot. 135 pound, we know Tiafimo Lopez has got three belts. Man, it's action right there, bro. Tiafimo just made himself a pay per view. Yeah, but that nigga just not, said they're not fighting right now. They're not fighting right now. Tio going on one forty, man. He gotta go. I gotta see him go first. He going on one forty, bro. It's just talk. So yeah. right now, you got Javante Davis. You you got Shakur Stevenson at like one twenty six. One twenty six, one thirty. Yeah, one twenty six. He can come to one thirty. It's a lot of action right there, brother. I don't see what you got. Devin Haney still right in that range. They're not gonna fight each other though. That's the thing, man. That like. You like, keep saying they're not gonna fight each other. I thought I you know what I'm saying for you for, for, for a while 
I said Tiafimo Lopez is not going to fight Vasily Lomachenko, and they got it on. I'm not doubting this younger generation. They cut different. You thinking about them Floyd days when yeah. motherfuckers uh, talk around some shit, and then... Basically, this ain't them days. These cats is coming, man. They basically, basically, what you saying is, man, they, they, they uh, that I'm thinking about the the generation where they would talk their way into a fight and then talk their way out of that same fight. Yeah. Now yeah. the only way that shit don't happen, it'll have to be on Tank Davis's end with mm-hmm. Floyd May, on, with the Floyd Mayweather tutelage. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Uh, by the way, by the way, marinate. By the way, that talking your way into a fight and talking your way out of a fight, that's coming straight from the book of Gary Russell Jr. Hey, yeah. You understand yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. So yeah. yeah. So I guess I guess that's I guess that put a bad taste in my mouth when you started calling names and everything else. Because all of the names that you just called was linked to him at some point over the summer, some point going into the fall. So so I understand what you're saying. So you got a point, right? But I just look at fighters like Pedraza and all them that moved to 140 that tank smoked. And they have a lot of they had a lot of names at 140, and a lot of those guys at 130, 135, they moving to 140. So I just think they're gonna be a lot of mix up and a lot of shit going on at 140. And I just feel like Tanks need to be the one to go up there, make his bones, get it out the way, and be the guy that everybody coming up to deal with. Because if he go up there with Tia Fimo, man, Tia Fimo go growing to 140, man, he gonna smoke everybody at 140. That's a fact. You feel me? But and to be real, even though I think Tank is more talented, it seems like to me Tia Fimo, even before he beat Loma, is leading the pack in this generation. I wouldn't say that. Yeah, he is, Javante. bro. He, he, I, no, listen, no, you, you not. You, I wouldn't say that Javante Davis is more talented than Tia Fimo Lopez. Uh, I say I that. Say, though. I know. I would say Javante Davis has been more. Uh, explosive and exciting against now beforehand they had pro- mm-hmm. fought like they had fought competition on par but with Tia Fimo Lopez's last opponent it's by far better than anybody Javante Davis has ever faced. Yeah yeah but I'm t- that's why I said before right that's why I said before he fought Loma mm-hmm. what I'm saying Javante Davis has never shown me the total package the skills that Tiafimo Lopez showed me in that fight. Yeah, because he didn't fight nobody that, yet like that. That's what I'm saying. That's why I well, said he, had a, he went 11 rounds with Gamboa, and I didn't see it. Gamboa is not on the level of Lomachenko, but he pushed him to 11 rounds though. Like if you can't get him out of there, you got to be sure you should be doing all you can to get that guy out of there. So but if it's, it's in your tool bag, it would have came out in 11 rounds. So what you're telling me is he, it, it ain't, it ain't his tool bag. Okay. Okay. I, yeah. I feel you on that. Then. I, feel, I mean, he is explosive, though. The motherfucker got power now. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You can't take that Anytime shit away Anytime he can take you out. Anytime he can take you out. But he can't control a fight the way Lopez did from range. And the boy got championship taste. Can't take that away from him either, man. Championship taste. taste. Yeah, he got championship taste, man. Well, yeah. he have he have he championship cha- taste. He had... Listen... Let me tell you something about that championship taste now. If you see when, when you get a taste, now you want to keep that taste in your mouth. He having a hard, he have a hard time. Uh he he gets he gets his he gets his taste snatched from him. Too. Well, yeah, true, true. I, I'll give you that. Then, uh, dude would take he take takes his takes his taste. So basically what you you're telling that? me is, man, dudes be coming in there swooping like an eagle, man, and and taking his bitches. Yeah. yeah, man. You can't have that, man. Shit sound like so, a... So some some not right. Well, some to be honest with right. you, to be honest with you, let's just keep it all the way a buck 100, which we do know his mentor, his he is the protege of Floyd Mayweather Jr., right? And yeah. we all know that Floyd been getting his whole sniped on for years. So, yeah. uh, I mean... Hey. Look, it, birds you know, of it, a feather flock together. In, hey, baby, it's all in good fun, but man, hey, for the same man, they have so much paper, man, they can't keep a chick to say any life. I and know, man. That's what I'm, I'm gonna saying. say something. They play it off like, ah, you know, but I know, man. Hey, Floyd didn't want to lose Miss Jackson. I don't care hey, what look, he said. He, he didn't want to lose. He Princess. held a he held a chick hostage. 
Hey, he didn't want to lose. Look, he didn't want to lose Princess Love. Ray J oh, came no. in there. Ray J oh. came right in there, played the piano, and walked away I with his first. Beat. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You know what hey, I'm saying? So it was, hey, it was clown and Ray J were playing the piano. They didn't know that was it, Ray J playing chess, not checkers. And then, and then, bro, with all of that shit was going on, right? Floyd thought that he was going to take another nigga bitch and went after T.I. old lady and got two pieces and a biscuit. I don't believe that. The Cliff bro, Harris did not bro, have two pieces. Dog, did it. you see it? Did you see the video? Look, let me tell you something. Dog, now, you look, bro. Look, Clifford Harris, Clifford look, Harris put first hands of all, and beat some of that all, I had to take, first of all, you get no points for trying to take Miss Piggy. Oh, man. Oh, second of all, I doubt, I doubt very seriously that Floyd Mayweather is willing to fight over that. He act like he was. T.I. The nigga. No, Clifford, on the other hand, was hurt. Bro, the nigga was he fighting. Wanted a piece of, he wanted a piece of the champ. He Bruh. wanted a piece of the champ. The champ got to have too much to lose. His hands are registered. He's that security outlet. He got out the Bruh, way. Bro, the nigga was at the club door, bro. Taking off his jewelry, taking off his watch. Man, control your bitch. Check your bitch, man. But here's my thing, right? T.I. did what a man's supposed to do, bro. He went out there no. and he proved his love. No. no the nigga no, was no, out there no, fighting like no, it was Friday no, night. No, no. Like it bro, was Friday night and a payday. Listen here, bro. Listen here, buddy. Okay? I got to respect. If my chick, if the chick don't want to be with me, man, I'm not going to go fight. Now, if you if you forcibly taking her like in, against her will, yeah. Okay, bro, we got to knuckle up. That's what it looked but on it, the red carpet. It looked like Floyd was trying to grab his arm, grab her leg and all this shit, and she was pulling man. away. And T.I. was just like, Let's, let me go talk to this nigga, man. Look. And hands and feet became part of the conversation. You tripping. I'm telling you, man, Floyd can't fuck with Clifford Harris. You know it and I know it. Hey, man. <laughs> you know it and I know it, man. You know it and I know it, man. Uh-uh, man. Yeah, he can't man, fuck with Clifford. He cannot fuck with Clifford. Not, not talking or reading, but fighting. Bro, man. look here, man. Here, man. Look, the nigga would have got his ass whipped expeditiously. Listen. He did, it. though. Matter of fact, matter. But going back to what I was saying, bro, look. The nigga Tank, the nigga Tank, man, he, he, um, he already going on the same path. He already going on the same wave of getting his championship taste sniped off of him. Like Floyd. So the nigga might end up becoming a pay-per-view star like Floyd because it seemed like everything else is going in his fucking favor. He losing his bitches at every turn. Hey, he got to he, hey, he, he gotta he gotta acquire more bitches. So he's gonna <laughs> acquire more belts, and more money, more fucking wins. You know what I'm saying? More life. Hold up, you another thing too. Like another you. another thing too. What? Hold up, bro. Let's just go, let's back it up a second, man. And I don't want to be riding on the young boy, man. You know what I'm saying? I like the nigga and shit. Yeah, we having fun. But I'm gonna keep it all the way buck 100 with you, man. And the nigga seemed mm-hmm. like he got a the nigga seemed like he followed, he following down another road up from his mentor, What's putting that? his hands on these hoes. Oh no, man! Yeah, yeah man. Yeah, yeah. You remember you when he the chick up in the celebrity basketball bruh, game, bro? Now, yeah, not all. Now, it. the thing is, is bro, you niggas can't hold on to y'all hoes, but then y'all beat up on bitches. That's why like, they can't hold them, bro. Well, they, hey, look, listen, man. Women are not gonna stand for that shit too much longer if another dude with some money come along and not going to beat on them. Yeah. And got money. Yeah. And laying it down. Come on, man. Come on. The only thing I hope, the only thing I hope. Yeah. That's going on that he got up, that he not, that he haven't followed with Floyd is that I show hope he can read. And I show hope he ain't illiterate, man. Yeah, Listen, bro. Floyd can read. I don't know, man. I heard that goddamn one of uh that goddamn Listen, Breakfast bro, Club he clip, can man. Read, man, the shit was bro, tough to see. It was cold tough that to night. See, it was cold out there. This nigga's not legally blind. 
No, it was, and then it was like a light in his eye, and like he had to squint. But anyway, the and those were some tough words. But look, <laughs> so, <laughs> bro. But all I'm saying is this, oh, man. He Lord can Jesus. function. You know what I'm saying? You don't have to read a whole lot to uh to know your combinations and slip left right. And he can read stop signs and drive his fucking Bentleys, Rolls Royces, and he can read checks. So I but it's would, not listen, necessarily hey, read JB, stop signs. JB, JB, bro, this colors. He know colors. He know hey, the colors. Let me tell you something. I would give back all this scholarly knowledge for a hundred million dollars. Damn, you right about that. You right about that, bro. Give me a, give me a hundred million dollars. You can have like I would I would I wouldn't mind pointing while I read. You feel me? Fuck yeah, it. you right about that, bro. I'll point, I'll be like, give me the number one. Yeah, yeah, give me the number one. Give me that, give me that burger with that cheese on the side. Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll be, be going to restaurants. Give me that two meat burger. Over ordering there. the ordering the same shit at every restaurant. Like y'all yeah. got y'all got steak here. No steak. Okay, <laughs> give me a burger. <laughs> Fuck it. You, know what I mean? you can't go wrong. You can't go wrong. Either that every restaurant got a steak or a burger. Yeah. Oh, oh, and just let somebody tell me, hey champ, it's a seafood joint. Bet I know what to get. I ain't gotta read this shit. Yeah, yeah. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Fuck it. Yeah, but you can't go in there by yourself, Cadillac. Like. Because oh, once they I, hey, let me tell you something. <laughs> once they give you that menu, you're out of there. Bruh. No, you better I, 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 I'm I'm listen, Floyd is not. Can't read, read like man. You know what I'm saying? Nigga. He ain't just. He not just <clears throat> pronunciating, pronounc- pronouncing all these Bruh. exotic words and shit. The but nigga. I, give me, hey, whatever Floyd got, give it to me. I let me, take it. Let me tell you what the nigga do, bro. What the nigga go to restaurants that have pictures on the menu, and then he only read books that got pictures, bro. So at the end of the day, he no, can't they got audio read. books for that now. They got audio yeah, books. Yeah, you right about that, bro. I mean, he's a great listener. I mean, yeah, uh, shit, yeah, he's a great listener. I mean, so maybe he doing well about that no, shit. No, he ain't because he talked too much. You right about that hey, shit too, but that nigga took over the all access. That motherfucker has taken over Javante Davis's all access. Yeah, bro. If I was if I was that nigga Tank, I'd tell that nigga shut the fuck up. Be like, hey, bro, <laughs> hey, Tank. They got to do something, man. Like, get out my shit. Floyd is living. He's living through him. Yeah. He's living, he's living vicariously through this yeah. young man. Bro, you, I, bro, I ain't going to lie, bro. I, I guarantee you some motherfuckers, the casual motherfuckers probably thinking, like, damn, Floyd can't coming back? <laughs> man, Floyd coming back, man. Bro, yeah. like, the, F- Floyd is really getting his P. Diddy on. Bro, I'm telling you, man. Dancing all in the videos. All in the videos. I know, bro. So all on your songs, bro. I, Floyd might get in that bitch and throw a one two tomorrow night. I wouldn't doubt it. I know he gonna be working his fucking corner. <laughs> oh, there you go. It's a wrap. There you go. Are That's you serious? A wrap. Yeah, bro. Because you know they were saying hey, that he oh, was. In- I didn't see that. Did, didn't the last episode of All Access come on tonight? I gotta see what stuff mm, tonight. I don't know. They having one tonight. They having one tonight. I think so. I gotta find out, bro. I need to find out because I got to see because I know they did two and then they had to weigh in. I'm pretty sure they should because, you know, they normally take all of that footage and put it into the third episode or unless they unless they taking all of that footage and putting it into an epilogue. Because, you know, they've been doing that shit, too. You just never know with Showtime, man. You know, they on their own wave, you know, since they don't have no more it, competition. It, it, it ain't out yet. They have a sneak peek. Whatever. Uh uh-uh, uh, uh uh, they ain't got um, nothing up right now. Shit. Oh no. Well, I'm pulling for Tank. I want, I want uh, Santa Cruz to put up some kind of resistance, but I know Tank gonna smoke the shit out of him. Um, I just don't know when. Don't know how. Well, well, well let's, let me ask you this. Let me ask you this. How can Leo Santa Cruz be successful? Mm, take him in the deep water. Try to get it to at least the tenth level round. Um, I'm saying, but he can't how, throw. How 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 does he get there? How can he get there? Stay on the outside, stay long, stay big. Even though he stay long, he can't that's stay totally, big. That's totally that's totally against his 
anything he's done totally against his character. So that's he what I'm saying. To totally be something that he's never been his entire career. Mm-hmm. Yep. He definitely needs to stay long. Because you know, he he's yeah, he's a punches and bunches guy. But but he also but he also been leaving his hands, he been leaving, he's been extending his arms and keeping them out a lot longer. So he I think I think Tank gonna capitalize on that shit. As he throwing that left, throwing that, you know, going to the body, he he leave, he he kind of linger. You know, he throw it out there and he pull back. He don't necessarily just snap and pull back, snap like he used to, throwing a bunch of punches. I think Tank gonna capitalize on it. I think that's something Floyd probably told him because I seen it. You understand? So um, he hold his hands out there too long. So I think he gonna get clipped. Yeah. I believe that shit because so like it's no way, it's no path to victory for Leo Santa. No, it is. It is. Like I say, he got to stay long. If he stay long and he and he kind of shorten up his punches, if he stay long, shorten up his punches, work off the jab, and but but he can throw the volume, but the volume need to be smart. It can't just be, I'm going to throw this, throw that, put his head down in the nigga chest because he's going to get beat up if you do that. But like you said, he got to be somebody completely different. And I just think yeah, Santa Cruz is not that seen him do that. No. Never, like ever. So, so that's like I said, it's no path to victory. <laughs> unless, unless, uh, unless Tank got burnt the night before, smoked uh some weed, um, with a Mike Tyson, mm-hmm, threw his back out, man, fucking a bitch, uh, you know, broke his left hand, you know, uh, found out he had crabs right as he was walking out, and they um, hit all through the fight, stumped his big toe, you know, in the hotel room, yeah. And um, yeah. fractured his spine, and actually fought him and with a got, broke back. And he got to get into it. And he got to get into it with Floyd in the dressing room. Yeah, and he actually came to the fight and performed with a broke back, like Mike Tyson did. That's the only way Santa Cruz got a shot, bro. That's it. Yeah. Oh, another thing: the nigga gotta have been poisoned before the fight, like they did Jordan in Utah. And he had to snort some of John Jones' coke. And one more thing. The nigga have to instantly, instantly lose his vision in his left eye from a slight stroke. That's the only so way. What we, call, what we call him, then call him right eye? Yeah, and then after that, bro, I think that's the only way this fight will be even, bro. I think that's the only Damn, way. That, that just brings it back to even. Yeah, that just brings it back to 50-50, you know what I'm saying? Just brings it back to 50-50. <laughs> just brings it back to 50 brings it back. <laughs> it just, that just brings it to 50-50, you know what I'm saying? And I think... Hey, hold on, man. I got to address something. Yeah. I must address, I must address this. You know, ever since I gave my uh, personal account of uh, the time I got knocked out with a st- shot to the sternum... <laughs> <laughs> There's been one Michael Walker in the group. See a lot of the locker rooms, Facebook sports group. You out there? If you're on Facebook, look it up. Give us a give us a sh- uh, you know request. We'll let you in and answer the questions. You know, real simple questions. But anyway, Michael Walker's been talking that shit, bro. Like he want a piece of me. Oh, pause. But look, so. Hey, look, bro. I'm gonna tell you one goddamn thing, Michael. You ain't that big fucking heavyweight, super heavyweight, and I'll <laughs> piece your ass up. You keep fucking with me, I'll be on the next thing smoking out there to Texas, and I'll whoop your ass and ride off on one of your fucking horses. Now, keep on, son. Cowboys. Cow ride off cowboy style on your ass. That's why, look, this guy been banned from Facebook for animal porn. Because he always posting his damn horses oh. fucking breeding and shit. Motherfucker probably making a lot of fucking bread off them goddamn horses. And I, I want in on that too. I'm going to whoop your ass and we're going to link up and you're going to put me down on them horse. horse gang. Put me on the horses, nigga. Look, but man. Anyway, hey, let me anyway, tell you something. Bro, we can spar. We can spar, bro. You think? Cause you think I'm soft? I can, I can, I can, I can 
S O F T. You think I'm soft? I feel it. I feel it from, from the heat. I feel the heat from your keyboard, nigga. When you typing that shit, I've been seeing it. You just said it more than once. Yeah, I'm getting the burning shots. All right, boy. Keep it up. Yeah. Uh, shout out to Michael Walker, man. Nah, bro. All no. around them boys, they listen. Hey, ho, them boys listen all the time, man. And that's how I know they be listening, bro. Cause the nigga, he 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 been he been getting on me about that shit. But, yeah, man. I uh, you know, I got a little story about that shit too, bro. Like, you know, uh, I I I tend to talk about some of my boxing victories, but uh, you know. You know, a nigga, a nigga smoked my turkey before too, nigga. You know what I'm saying? And uh, yeah, man, this dude named Aaron Lewis, man, Aaron Lewis, 2007. I was in Houston. I had moved to Houston in 2004, and you know, thinking I had hands and shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm thinking I'm about to start touching up on niggas. You know what I'm saying? And uh, I walk in there, man. It was a little Mexican yeah. cat. It was a little Mexican cat that uh. I was working with at the time. He was like, man, I go to this little Boston gym, whoop the whoop, man, and um, off of uh, Highway 6 or some shit. Anyway, only went that one time, bro. When I mean to tell you, bro, I went in that bitch thinking, you know, I had all the tools, I had it all, man. I had footwork, you know. I thought I had a chin at that time, too. So I go in that hole, man, tell that nigga, man, I don't, know, I don't want no headgear or nothing, you know. I just want to go in that bitch and do my thing. Man, I ain't asked about the weights, I ain't asked about shit. Now, at that time, I was like 185, 190, you know. I was nice, you know, slim trim, you did. Getting that motherfucker, man, mm-hmm. I threw. First round happened, boom, boom. I'm going to that bitch moving around, doing my thing and shit. But, man, look. That second round, bro, that yeah. motherfucker went to whooping on me, dog. <laughs> I ain't get you. Bro, motherfucker hit me with a body shot. Then he double back, bro, and he grabbed me. Let me tell you something, man. Yeah, that boy grabbed you. Bro, let me tell you what he did me, bro. The motherfucker hit me, bro. Like, I'm in the weed, you know, I'm in the pocket, right? Doing my thing. Because at that point, let me tell you something. The first round, I was Gucci. Because I was moving around, doing my thing, stiff and coming out the way, you know, all that shit. So I was like, all right, I'm going to go on the inside with this motherfucker, man. I'm going to see what he can do. Man, I'm going to that bitch banging up, boom, boom. That bitch hit me at the bottom of my motherfucking stomach, man. I damn near shitted on myself. But he grabbed me. He needed a shit bag. He said, Man, the motherfucker hit me. Bam. When he hit me in the stomach, I said, Oh shit, he grabbed me. Boom, boom, boom. So when he grabbed me, bro, he re rolled it around. Because really, when he grabbed me, he thought that I was about to like come on the side of him or whatever, bro. So he just grabbed me to try to keep me in front of him. Like, you know how when the motherfucker think he about to go, he tried to hook me a little bit. So anyway, the motherfucker mm-hmm. hit me again in my stomach, bro. Then he clipped me on the chin. Bro. I I just felt like, bro, I'm not going to lie to you, dog. I think I went blind for a second, bro. I couldn't see shit. When I mean nothing, I'm talking about nothing, bro. All I could do was put my hands up and just walk backwards. And this motherfucker man hit me by 20 more motherfucking times in that ring, bro. Yeah, hey, a minute, man. Y'all bro. was sparring. They supposed to have been jumped in, Bro, man. there you was no hands, jumping bro. in. As much shit that I went in that gym talking... Them motherfuckers, dude named oh. Rocky. Dude named Rocky, bro. No bullshit, bro. The motherfucker let me. Bro, get you wasn't up. in no shape. Bro, he let me you get whooped on. You wasn't in no shape. You just coming in up. Bro, he let me get whooped on, bro. So after, so I had my little chick at the time. You dig what I'm saying? You know, she wasn't my girlfriend. Nothing like Wait, that, so. no way she was there. No this way claimer, she was there. Oh, yeah, she, she was there. Oh, yeah, she was there. Oh, oh yeah, so she was you there. Got, you, you didn't leave with her. No oh, yes, way you left. Let me her. tell you what happened, bro. Let me just tell you how it happened, bro. You got, you, you got tanked. Disclaimer. Disclaimer. Her name was uh, Vanessa, bro. Disclaimer. Uh, she wasn't my girlfriend at the motherfucking time, but she was just a friend. I'm going up in there thinking, you know, I'm about to do my thing and shit. As <laughs> soon as I got my ass whipped in that motherfucker, dog, I'm getting out the ring. She was like, yeah, all right. I said, yeah, I'm good, man. I say, babe, but she's, uh, you should have came and got, you should have put the pistol on that nigga, man. It got that nigga <laughs> off me. <laughs> I say, man, you should have went and got a pistol, man, and get this nigga off me, man. Shit, man. <laughs> man, you can't be cool no motherfucking mo. <laughs> so me and her getting into it and shit like that. Man, in the gym. you can't take it out on that bro, woman, man. Me and this, bro, me and this motherfucker getting into it, dog, in the gym. Because I'm just like, no bitch, way. you should have went, got the pistol. <laughs> no way. Yeah, no way. You, no this nigga, way you don't ask me how I'm doing. Shortcomings. Bro, don't ask no me how I'm doing. No way you blamed off of your shortcomings, bro. bro. She came oh, in late. Man, you did wrong. 
Look, dog, she came wrong. in there late. Well, I got whooped. I got whooped on. Yeah, yeah. that nigga smoked my turkey. Listen, Bro. you came in talking shit, and you probably wasn't in shape. The body oh, is gonna tell the story. I wasn't when in a shape. motherfucker check that body, if you ain't in no type of shape, I wasn't in shape. It's gonna, it's gonna show. And then you got mad because the chick didn't bring a pistol to an organized Bro, function. My nigga, any body. When there's no no referee was in the motherfucking ring. You see this nigga beating on me. Get the fucking gun. <laughs> Please. You understand what I'm saying? I have thrown in the towel. I cannot see. This nigga is pounding on me. Can you back him up <laughs> off me? I need room to breathe, bitch. Don't ask me how I'm doing. Don't ask me how I feel. <laughs> bitch, get the gun. And I told her specifically, if these niggas crowd me, if these niggas jump on me, I'm going to need you to have my back. And she looked me in my face and said, man, I got you. I considered that class grade A ass beating that I got from that overweight bitch that beat on me like that. as a way of getting crowded. You felt like they jumped you? I felt like that nigga jumped no. me. So that classified as nigga, they crowd me. Get them off me, ho. You think <laughs> what I'm saying? Say me, bro. Bro, bro. Oh, yeah. Bro. Hey, we gonna have to cut. We got to cut this thing out, man. We've been going for a while, bro. Hey. It's saying, man. It was bro. rough. Bro. Hey, bro. Oh. Hey, I'm glad you shared that, brother. It's always good to talk to you, bro. Hey, I'm gonna talk to you after this fight tomorrow night, baby. Man, fuck with me, man. Peace. Hold it down.